Hey everyone, welcome, 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 welcome. Let me just refresh my page on my computer so that way I can see the same thing. There we go. All right, so as you guys come in, go ahead and say hello. And I am just going to show you guys how I'm prepping the back of the zebra. Look at the beautiful zebra. You can only kind of see them. I don't want to like flip them up. Linda, what's going on? I hope your Mother's Day was absolutely fantastic. So I am going to show you guys how I'm doing these. Now, um, personally, I have never done this before. And I've seen someone stuff the back of a canvas with cardboard. And I gave that a try. Uh, Patty, what's going on? And... Um, I didn't like it. I think that this made me more nervous to secure the canvas. Ooh, thanks for the thumbs up, um, than wood. So the reason I didn't like it, it's very difficult to see on video, but it's, it's lobby, you know, or wobbly or whatever you want to say, but it's not a flat canvas up here because the, the cardboard got stuffed up into it. And honestly, I'm so nervous to take it back out without ruining my canvas, you know? So it was a really difficult process to put this in. So I was thinking, I was laying in the hammock underneath my son's bed, and I was thinking, why not just make it like the slats on a bed? So I got these, they're dry cedar shims, and they're from Home Depot and they have slightly beveled edges so it goes thicker to thinner and what i do is i slide it in this way and i put the thick end up at the middle because that's the place that we need to have the most security and then i just scoot it up next to the next one so these ones I already did i slit them in and then i put some gorilla clear glue on them okay and then what you want to do is just keep alternating. So now I'm going to put the thin into the edge because that we don't want to pop up like that cardboard did. And then the thick edge is going to brace our middle. So just keep sliding them in there and fill them all out. It's very simple. And then once you get the things, these little uh, slats or whatever you want to call them, once you get them in there, then you're golden. You can just glue them so that way they don't move. And I personally think that this is really going to add to the appeal of my canvas because the zebra is an African theme. And so having wood in the back is just all that much cooler, right? I think. Oh, let's see. Deluke Art says such a great idea. Thank you so much. I was inspired by my son's bed. <laughs> So it was really cool. Um, just thinking that might work perfectly because that's what works to hold up his little um, camping bed that it would be perfect for this. So we'll see. I'm going to be your guinea pig with this um, awesome zebra. I don't think it's really going to screw it up, but if it does, you guys know me. I roll with my mistakes and we'll make it work. But I want to get this guy done. I'm so excited for him. So now that you get those in, like I said, I already have these five done. You just take that glue and you want to make sure that you secure both sides. So you're gonna put a little bit of that glue. I choose clear just to make the look a little bit more classy. <laughs> if you're gonna use glue, might as well use a good clear glue. Um, not anything that expands. You have to worry about that too much. Um, I guess expanding glue might not be the worst thing in this circumstance either. But just make sure they're straight. The glue takes a little bit to dry, so you have a little bit of wiggle time to kind of move it around and to mess with it. Um, oh, it's Debbie. What's up, Debbie? I didn't, I don't think I've ever seen Deluke art here. Um, yeah, so I just freaking love this, and I'm going to be your guys' guinea pig. We'll see if this works out. And then I still have not cleaned the background of the zebra, but I did get a canvas for my elephant. And you guys, this elephant canvas makes the zebra canvas look small, like super tiny. <laughs> so I'm really quite excited about this elephant. I also got the projector in, um, cause I'm trying out a new projector. So I'll show you guys how that works. I'll do a whole tutorial on it. Um, that way you guys can be a part of the process. You guys know I love that. And we'll kind of go from there. So yeah, 
How easy was this? This took me two seconds in comparison to this took me honestly like 10 minutes to get it in the back of this without breaking it because you also have to do one full size piece of cardboard and this you could just do a bunch of little slats. So I'm going to tell you guys something that's kind of funny though. Let me oh, aim you guys up here. Something that's a little funny. I went to Home Depot and I'm not much of a wood person at all okay so i didn't know that lf meant you're paying 98 cents per linear feet <laughs> so i had something that was 10 feet tall and it honestly was just as big as these but it was 10 feet tall and they charge 98 cents a linear foot so 10 bucks for this little piece of wood and i was shocked because there's no way i wanted to pay 10 bucks for one of those and I wanted five of them. So I was like, nope, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. So I got these square dowels, which I was gonna try as well. And square dowels um, would have worked beautifully, but then I came across these, uh, which I wanted to try first, because they would be the cheapest, easiest method. They were only five bucks, and you guys can see how many extras I have. I have a crud ton of extras, look at that. So I'll be able to do the backing of my elephant piece too, um, without issue. Oh yeah, there's my canvas too. There's the canvas for the elephant piece. Look at that. Ah, that could be so big. It's gonna be so cool. That's in comparison. That's a 16 by 20 right there. I did that with um, a retirement home. Had them paint some dogwoods. And yeah, so just kind of gives you some perspective on like how big this elephant is gonna be. I'm so excited. <laughs> and it makes Zebedee the zebra so tiny looking. Like, oh, let's see. I think Zeb is the same size as this guy. So yeah, I'll put this guy in front of that canvas. You guys can see, look how big of a difference that's gonna be. Ah! And Zeb was huge. So this is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited. Elephant's gonna get started this week. Like I'm gonna do, um, I have a party tomorrow. So on Sunday, I'll show you guys how I do like my projector to get the initial tracing out there. Um, Cause I'm really bad with like perspectives and stuff. Um, how much did the large canvas cost? Haley says, so I, it's normally $44, but it was 50% off today at Michael's. So if you guys want to run into Michael's, they're 50% off. Normally I try to wait until there's a 70% off because they do do those like once every three months or so, or once every four months. And I get so many canvases that way, but I've been so anxious to get into this elephant that I couldn't wait. So I went ahead and did the 50% off. And then I got some other stuff with another coupon. Cause if you're a member, you get like the 40% off coupon and whatnot. Um, yeah, so try to do that. If you guys want canvases right now though, 50% is not a bad, bad deal. And that's for the level one, because I do put something in the back for my resin pieces. Um, and I like them. I think they're just fine. I don't, I can't afford the gallery raft right now, honestly. So I'm good with the level one. Um, and then what you guys want to do with this, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and flip this guy over. So that way all the weight, cause right now it's pushing down towards the canvas. I want the canvas weight to push against these. So that way they're nice and wedged up in between this. So boom, upside down. I'm going to let it sit just like this. Okay. Until it's dry. I am going to move it off my, uh, faux hardwood floors though, <laughs> just in case a couple drips of glue come down. But besides that, like it's totally good. And then you guys can see some of these areas that kind of um, get pushed and stuff because I haven't been able to finish it with resin. So you want to make sure that you do all your touch up and finish with your glitter fully clean this with baby powder since this is the fluid painting that has silicone. Um, and then once you get all of that done, then you're ready for the resin. So you guys can see how much of a process this ends up being. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's really how freaking simple it is. I feel like this is extremely secure. I can keep pushing on this and I, it bows a little, but it has to actually have weight, um, to even put any part of a bow in there. So I feel like just with resin sitting on it, I don't feel like it's bowing enough that that I would have to worry. So I think this is a really good um, foundation so far. And yeah, we'll see. My husky wants to come inside. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any more questions. Oh, I did miss something. Linda says, in real life, the 
elephant would be much bigger anyways. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted that like whole perspective thing. You know, I wanted the elephant to be the biggest canvas they had, but that was like $80 and I couldn't afford that. So I got a really giant one that I'm happy with and I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh, just imagine. Zebra is going to be right up next to that guy. Um, hopefully in the arts cancel, um, thing, I'm like doing the entry and whatnot. So, um, if it requires votes, I will show you guys so you can all vote for me, <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions. I am going to, oh, oops, with a hairdryer heat gun. Another method I've seen is to paint the back of the canvas to stiffen it. You know, I have, um, heard of that. I've also heard water, but the issue, it does stiffen it, but, um, with resin, it sits on there for such a long period of time. So it kind of starts to stretch the canvas out and it will dome anyways. So that's why you want to have extra security. Um, this is a large canvas. So that's a great idea for the smaller canvases, but I would say for the larger canvases, me personally, I hate doing a bunch of layers of resin. So I would rather have it, um, nice and secured. So Linda says I would definitely vote for you. Thank you. I don't know if it's a voting thing. I think they have like an actual panel of judges, um, but we might be able to like share it and then have people vote. So I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys can tell. I'm like freaking out. I'm so excited about this guy. It's going to turn out so cool. The zebra is like, he's my knight in shining armor. He is so beautiful and makes me so happy. <laughs> so yeah, elephant's going to be just as cool though. I am going to take a combination of a bunch of rainbow glitters. Okay. My dog is killing me. I'm going to take a combination of a bunch of rainbow glitters and put them all in one bag and then throw it at the um, elephant. So that way, come on, you little cry baby. So that way, um, it's just going to be a rainbow color, but it's going to have a really cool background sort of like the zebra did. Yeah. It's gonna be insane. I'm so excited. So yeah. Any more questions? Let me see if I've missed anything. Uh, good luck. Let us see when you're done. Oh, Patty. Absolutely. I'll totally show you guys. Oh. <laughs> Interactive realism, right? Yeah. Oh, realm says, he loves how excited I get. Yeah, dude, I am like the queen of excitement. I get excited over like the littlest things. I told my husband yesterday, he asked him, I asked him if that annoyed him and he's like, well, yeah, sometimes he's like, but kind of need that excitement to make up for all like his lack of excitement. He's just, you know, chill all the time. <laughs> so this is me like 98% of the time. The other 2% is, you know, chill or like very introverted but the rest of the time i'm like super excited um yeah most people think it's fake and i'm like it can't be fake if i do it all the time but whatever <laughs> so yeah let me see any more questions um large canvas much bigger anyway yep 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 okay i think i got all the questions so i'll wait for another minute look at that she's tired <laughs> She says, hey guys, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> but that's about it. So thanks so much for joining my live video. You guys are amazing. I really, really appreciate the six thumbs up. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know how this turns out. I'm doing a time lapse of the whole entire zebra from start to finish. So this particular video won't be in there, like the backing part of it, but doing the resin on top of it and then I'll have that out to you guys probably next week. And then I'm starting the elephant. So I'm excited. So hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Happy Friday, y'all. I'm going to be drinking some Moscow meals tonight. So I hope you guys enjoy some too. All right. Bye, everyone.